Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Cole and welcome back to my channel. I quickly just want to say thank you to all my returning viewers. I really do appreciate the support. And to any new viewers out there, if you guys love sneakers, you have come to the right place. So make sure to smash that subscription button and turn on your bell notifications so that you don't miss when I drop a new content. In today's video, I have decided not to do a normal sneaker review, but instead I'm going to share with you guys all the information that I know on how to buy kicks in South Africa. So this video will obviously be able to apply to anyone in any country, but I'm going to focus more specifically on the sneaker industry in South Africa with regards to prices and stores. So hopefully you guys will be able to use this information to cop your next pair of grails. For me personally, there are three ways that you're able to cop half sneakers in South Africa. The three methods are number one, online retail, number two is in-person physical retail, and the third way is resale. So the first option, online retail, is pretty straightforward. I mean, you expect to buy these kicks from retail stores, for retail prices, but it is simply not that easy in South Africa. Some of the retail stores that I think you guys should definitely know about if you love sneakers in South Africa is Shelf Life, which is probably the most dominant streetwear and sneaker store in the country at the moment. And they have physical stores in Cape Town and in Joburg, but they also have a very good online store. You also have retail stores such as Archive and Sportscene, which stock all types of sports and sneaker apparel and so on and they have pretty much lots of stores throughout the country as well as online stores. And then you've got Jack Lemkus, which is a well-known sneaker store with a physical store in Cape Town, as well as an online store. And finally, we've got Shesha, which has a physical store in Joburg, as well as an online store. The problem is with these online stores, when you're trying to cop half sneakers, is that they'll either do a raffle system like Shelf Life, where they give people a whole day or an hour to enter into raffle, and then there's pretty much odds. The odds are never that good. I mean, it's one in 60 to one in 120. So you do have a chance of getting these sneakers, but your odds are very low because, I mean, when these sneakers drop in South Africa, most of these stores only get one or two pairs in each size, and they only have one or two stores in the country. So do the math, it's not that many pairs in the country. And then the other way, you can obviously also buy online from Nike, Shesha, Archive. They also release half sneakers, but instead of a raffle system, they will release it at a certain time and it's first come first serve but the problem with these online stores and buying at a specific time is that the online stores tend to time out or not work when trying to buy the sneakers at the specific time and when you finally get back on the bots have already beaten you and caught the sneakers and they're sold out within five minutes of dropping on the website and now the second way which is in person or physical retail stores this is pretty much the same as the online stores that I mentioned. All the online stores that I did mention have physical stores. But the way that these drops release is also a raffle system, but also a first come first serve. So generally it's like eight o'clock in the morning at Shelf Life I know, for example, where you have to line up at, let's say, half past seven. Raffle tickets are handed out at eight o'clock. And by half past eight, they've called out all the numbers and only certain people get the sneakers that were there in time to get a raffle ticket. And again, I mean, stock is limited. There's one to two pairs in each size and there's only one or two stores throughout the whole country. So your chances are really, again, very slim. One thing that Jack Lemkus has done recently, I don't know if you guys have seen, they had a half sneaker drop. They made their customers buy the sneakers in the same size of the pair of sneakers that they were wearing to the shop. And these people that were lucky enough to win the raffle had to wear the sneakers out of the store. So there were numerous funny videos of these people trying to not crease the sneakers as they walk out the store. Obviously, these people were walking out the store trying not to crease their sneakers made out of leather because they were trying to resell these sneakers. Which brings me to way number three of copying sneakers in South Africa, which is the resale market. So the resale market can either be international or local. And starting off with international, I mean, well-known websites or apps is GOAT and StockX, where you can cop sneakers, basically bid against other people to try buy the sneaker for a certain price. And you can generally find sneakers for under retail or half sneakers for a little bit less expensive than what they would be in South Africa. But the problem with this is that you're probably going to pay 40 to 50% customs duties on top of whatever you're paying for the sneaker already. And you're going to have to pay custom levies or something in Joburg where the sneaker will probably sit for a month or two before it eventually gets to you. But again, this is just my experiences from buying from these websites and so on. And they just didn't go that well for me. And then obviously you've got the resale market here in South Africa. But because of what I've previously mentioned with the custom duties and levies and so on, the sneakers here in the resale market are generally more expensive than what you could be able to potentially buy them overseas which is quite a bummer for us but it's understandable because of all these extra duties as well as just the supply and demand in South Africa there's clearly a lot more demand for these sneakers than the supply we are getting 
I mean, I don't know if I'm remembering correctly, but an Instagram account, Yo I'm Sciencey Sneakers, they put out a post saying that 80 or 120 pairs is how many Jordan South Africa gets for specific drops. And that hasn't changed in the past 10 years or something. And I mean, in the past 10 years, the culture, even over the past five years, the culture of sneakers and so on in South Africa has grown tremendously. And I really do think that we deserve more sneakers than just 80 to 120 pairs. With that being said though, there still are some very good local resale stores, such as Court Order, which has physical stores, both in Joburg and Cape Town, as well as an online store. And you also have the back door, which I know is a physical store in Joburg, as well as an online website or Instagram shop that you guys can go and check them out. There's also a new store that has just opened in Cape Town that is called Story. And this is also supposed to be a marketplace for sneakers to come and sell and buy kicks. And I'm really excited to check this new store. Another way to buy sneakers that I've used in the past is Facebook Marketplace, which isn't where I thought I'd be buying some of my grails, but it is the place. But of course, we just want to make sure that every sneaker that you're buying is authentic because you just don't want to be caught wearing fake kicks. I mean, unless that is your thing, then by all means, go and buy fake kicks. I'm not going to judge you. So guys, to me, the sad reality is that in South Africa or even outside of South Africa in whatever country you're in, to get half sneakers, it pretty much comes down to who has enough money at the time to buy these sneakers because before the sneakers release, resale is crazy. When the sneakers release, I mean, the prices drop a little bit, but still these sneakers are in limited quantities and the prices that people have to pay to just get a sneaker that they like is ridiculous. So my advice really would be to look at brands that you really enjoy and what the brand stands for and so on. I mean, for me, an example is Saucony, a brand that I've been buying a lot recently. And their sneakers are pretty much half the price of a pair of Nikes or Adidas. And I find myself wearing them a lot more and they really are well-made sneakers and they just look so good. But I mean, it doesn't have to be Saucony. It can be whatever brand you like. It doesn't have to just be sneakers that are hyped or look so good. Because I mean, remember, sneakers are supposed to be comfortable for you to wear pretty much all day. So don't just get a sneaker that looks good and you can barely wear it because they're so uncomfortable. But again, that's just my opinion. I mean, if you guys want to go buy half sneakers for 30,000 Rand or just buy a pair of Saucony's or Reeboks for one, two, that's up to you. So guys, that's going to wrap up my video and basically everything I know on how to buy half kicks in South Africa. Of course, I don't know it all. So let me know down in the comments how you guys buy your kicks and so on. Always nice to share and know new ways on how to get things we love so much, which is sneakers. But once again, thank you guys so much for making it this far into the video. And if this was informative to you, leave a like on the video and let me know what you guys thought of this because this is my first type of sit down and talk video. Did you guys enjoy it? Would you guys like more like this? Let me know down in the comments. But until the next one, peace.